Hello, welcome again to this session and uh, we are proceeding with the with the evaluation for the care plan that we wrote last time concerning a patient with the, with the chest infection and for evaluation is you are also expected to write it within 15 minutes and uh, it's a it's a continuation of the of of, of uh, the activities you've carried on so you will be provided with your assessment notes uh, your planning notes uh, and uh, the scenario you are having for that patient and you can make references from them so for evaluation there are things that you need to take note of that maybe keeps on uh, uh, failing a, a number of candidates for example the date of admission you have to capture it correctly and also the date and time of transfer it have to be there both of them and also signing printing your name signature and the date those are small aspects that keeps on taking uh, candidates back for for the receipt so for for the evaluation you have to be very careful uh, just the same way with the with the planning have a look at your patient scenario down here it is on the first page down here it is written assume it's today and the time is maybe 10 zero zero so assume it's today so that will be the date of you that's the date you will consider for 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 your date and time of transfer okay uh, then the date down uh, where you are signing is the date you are making that document so for example i'm making the document today so if i i i, I were to assume it's tomorrow then i state from the date and time of transfer i state the following date so all endeavor to check what is on your first page then now on your second page where you are supposed to start uh, transfer uh, of care letter uh, for the new patient uh, uh, it's very direct and you will have the patient details already written on uh, for you then the next you will have clearly described reason for initial admission and subsequent diagnosis endeavor to capture the two aspects so th this information you will get from your scenario so you need not to be worried and you need to be aware of your scenario while making your evaluation paper so you will state that joe was admitted with a history of breathlessness three days ago and chest pain and was later diagnosed with chest infection this diagnosis will be provided in your in your scenario that's what you that's where you capture it so just write something brief on the same but capture the reason for admission and endeavor to state the diagnosis you must have to for that portion to be correct then the date of admission you will also capture that one from from your uh, from your notes or the scenario you've been given then now you move to the third portion which is stating identify the main nursing needs addressed during the patient's stay in uh, in your unit or the medical unit so remember to capture even if you forget all other elements that the patient might be having endeavor to capture your problem one and problem two that you stated in your care plan with that one you are done even if you have two of them you are good to go then you can add any other problem that the patient uh, might be having for instance and uh, remember to make it a full uh, statement for example in this case i'll say that joe, is, joe was uh, breathless uh, i mean uh, breathless due to chest infection as evidenced by a respiratory rate of 23 you have to evidence it still because uh, the person receiving your letter will look onto that aspect and that's what will uh, make them either consider your patient uh, for an immediate uh, evaluation or consider another patient so you have to be objective and i forgot to tell you that for evaluation we write it in past tense 
okay that's why i'm stating joe was breathless was breathless due to chest infection as evidenced by a respiratory rate of 23 breaths per minute then the next thing will be joe encountered chest pain due to coughing as evidenced by a pain score of two in a scale of zero to three okay uh and with that one um I'm good with the main nursing needs that were addressed during the patient stay. But you can add other things. Maybe the the patient was uh, uh, was uh, encountering sleep disturbance uh, due to uh, maybe coughing, as evidenced by uh, maybe patient verbalizing uh, only three hours of sleep or something of that sort. You have to put it in that order. The problem related to and evidenced by. After that, I proceed to the next part which states, outline the nursing care provided to meet the identified needs. And at this portion, you need to capture all the nursing care needs that you provided in your care plan. You have to lift the, all of them, okay? And uh, it's very cool because uh, remember we were talking of three specific points for each uh, each uh, care plan and we had five common points so the five common points will remain five then now you will capture three specific for each of them okay but endeavor to capture all that you wrote in your in your in your care plan because that one is in the in the marking criteria even if this space doesn't meet you can write here exit it exit it downwards and also use the back page okay to to proceed with the, the, the you are writing so i'll state uh, uh so the first point will be explained the plan of care and gained consent very direct two monitored we are remember we are writing in past tense monitored and recorded recorded vital signs as per news policy every uh, I mean, monitored and recorded vital signs every four hours as per news policy and escalated to the nurses in charge as needed. The, the next point will be administered prescribed medications and checked their effectiveness. Okay. The next point will be uh, you at this point, you will now capture the specific points that you had. Uh, you had you had written for each uh, for each care plan so assessed respiratory ass assessed uh, joe's respiratory rate checking for signs of distress such as the use of accessory muscles and cyanosis okay uh, the next point again taught joe deep breathing exercises and repositioning technique to improve breathing the next point referred joe to chest physiotherapist for further management. That one I'm done with capturing the specific points concerning the problem of uh, breathlessness. Then again, I proceed with the specific points for pain. Taught, remember past tense, taught Joe destructive activities such as the uh, uh, watching television to reduce pain. Referred referred uh, Joe to pain management team for further assessment, assessed Joe's pain, checking both verbal and nonverbal signs and using a scale of zero to three. Then after that, now I clear it with the other general points, which instructed Joe on proper use of call bell and placed it within, within her reach. Then I finalize by stating on documentation, documented all cares as uh, planned and you are done with the care provided to meet the identified needs. The next part, which is the following part is to outline the patient's current ability to self-care based on the person's care plan. When we were writing the care plan, Remember, we had patient self-care activities. This is what you will capture unto this point of evaluation. And uh, if you remember, we talked of them to be three to four. That's what you transfer. 
and uh, and you write them in past tense for instance uh, joe was able to use call bell appropriately or was able to use call bell while in when he when in need uh, joe demonstrated uh, deep breathing exercises if that one was in your self care you only transfer what you wrote in your self care activity or joe demonstrated uh, uh, or uh, joe uh, actively took part in uh, in his care, in in her care plan uh, and also uh, maybe joe uh, the other the other self care activity Joe verbalized understanding of the care plan. Joe demonstrated proper use of call bell. Joe stated understanding of the health education given, and Joe actively took part in her own care. You can capture three of all those. Then the next point will be document the person's allergies and associated reaction. Remember, time is also not on your side. So the best uh, thing to do unto this point, just write the allergy and the reaction. For instance, penicillin dash anaphylaxis. Then you can also state ranitidine dash stomach upset. Very direct. Don't make a statement because you don't have that time. Then the the next portion is list uh, areas identified for health education. Uh, for this case, you will ident you will uh, capture all that was uh, stated while you are in your scenario. For instance, maybe the patient was uh, was having issues with uh, or patient is a smoker. You will state educated educated Joe on reducing smoking to improve health reason uh, the, the, the 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 aspect of education and rational okay if it was about maybe the patient is alcoholic uh, educated you on reducing not stopping because you are also considerate of the patient's situation uh, uh, educated you on reducing uh, alcohol intake to improve well-being okay uh if if during your scenario the patient was having issue with the medication compliance then you can state educated you on medication uh, on uh, importance of uh, uh co complying with the medication to prevent a worsening of symptoms okay if the patient was having issues with the uh, mobility or moving around then you will state educated uh, Joe on proper use of assistive devices to enhance mobility. Okay, and uh, remember there are certain aspects that can only be captured for the health education. Okay, uh, and these relate with either lifestyle, uh, undertaking medication, follow up, and also uh, maybe the introduction of uh, referral uh, specialists. For example educated you on the importance of uh, of uh, uh, chest physiotherapy referral to improve maybe chest or breathing exercises so such aspects is what you capture under health education uh, then after that we have date and time of reference remember to state the date for instance i can state 26th of september 2021 then 10 zero zero hours or 10 zero zero with the the two have to be captured or else you will be back uh, that your uh, referral letter will not be complete then remember to place your names uh, there i have obita vincent the signature and the date so the date and time of transfer if it's stated tomorrow then i'll state 27th of september but the date which i'm signing on to it will be 26th of september you have to uh, capture that and that one you will only know with what you are told here assume it is today assume it is tomorrow assume it's the day after tomorrow you have to have that uh, consideration so that's what uh, the evaluation for this 
news patient entails okay and uh, that one will uh, will uh, capture all elements concerning evaluation for the news patient and the uh, patient with having a uh, patient having chest infection uh, for the OSCE uh, scenario thank you so much check out for other for other videos concerning uh, OSCE and also the planning we will be doing this entire week will be full of uh, nursing care plan and evaluation continue subscribing to the channel like comment and uh, uh, i wish you all the best as you prepare for your OSCE exam remember the exam is a uh, is a uh, is uh, it requires a uh, commitment it's easy enough uh, but uh, it comes with some sort of anxiety so you have to prepare adequately because that's what will allay your anxiety and uh, that's what will make you sail through otherwise i wish you all the best and i'm sure you will uh, pass the oscar get your pins and cross to band fight of uh, band five thank you so much and bye see you next time